everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I thought it would be a fantastic idea and I wish I would have had this at the start of me colouring to do a Christmas gift card ideas from lower range products uh, to uh, the highest quality uh, mediums and boots that you can find on the market at the moment and I will try my best to put a price on the screen as I'm talking about the item and leave a link in the description so if you're a colourist yourself you've just started or you've been doing this for a little while a couple of years you still will find this video quite interesting or even if you know a budding little artist that's just started colouring and wants to take it a little bit more seriously you know I'm going to give you some ideas here for some really nice Christmas gifts so we're going to start off with the colouring books now I think they're probably one of the most important parts. So I've got a selection of books here that I want to go through and explain why I've picked these. So the very first one is the Colourist Special Effects. Now this isn't a colouring book. I mean there is pages in it you could colour if you wanted to for the tutorial purposes. But it is for tutorials. So tips and tricks, and techniques, them, them sort of things just to get you started. Or even if, like I said, you've been colouring for quite a while I still reference back to these books that's why they've got tags in still but I'll quickly show you in the very first book Helen put uh, swatch pages at the back but she's took them out of the next three books there's four available I believe four available which I think is a good idea because you know I don't tend to use them but you've got stuff for backgrounds different effects backgrounds again with pastels different effects that you can use with craft knives anything from colouring pearls to fish to hearts to crystals now I've used this tutorial quite a few times your golden crown uh, dresses, wine glasses, balloons there's fur in these ones mermaid tails, flowers there's skin tone which is really really helpful when you're just beginning you know there's all sorts of um, really good informative information in these boots and I thoroughly recommend them so that's just the tutorial boot like I said I think there is four available at the moment this technically isn't a book it's a magazine I've just popped two out of my collection but these are the colour in heaven now these do range in price and I forgot to say the price of the tutorial book is around $14.99 at the moment on Amazon uh, these colour in heaven uh, issues they do range from this one was £5.49 this one was £6.49 there's some that have actually been £8.50 I think the collections ones I believe but the paper in this book is very very nice it's not your uh, create space paper but it, it is thicker than that but it's not as good quality as let's say the next couple of boots that are coming up but you do get a, a good selection of uh, pages from different artists so it gets you looking at different artists that you wouldn't have known of before this is a bit last year's now this one isn't it so yeah, yeah you've got a selection of the magazines that have been out through the year in this one like I said you can um, get a subscription to this now I don't do that because I don't buy or I don't want every single copy purely because of room reasons I've not got a whole lot of room left anymore to be collecting so many colouring books so that's one of the main reasons that I don't subscribe to them so the first proper colouring book that I've pulled out is my beloved Jasmine Beckett Griffith, the very first colouring book. Now the reason I've cho chosen this one is because it's got a really wide range of pages. So you've got her mermaid one, her Halloween one, Alice in Wonderland and then this one. And that's all of them. And this has just got a wide range of a mixture of all them books I would say. So you've got Halloween pictures, you've got Alice in Wonderland ones. There's my culprit skin practice. Yeah, there's just a good wide variety in this book. I'm hoping I'm not going to flip across some uh, whips that I've not shown you. Possibly that one that I did turn and didn't come back to. <laughs> uh, and that's a whip as well. 
But yeah, the paper in these books is absolutely fantastic. I've not had any problem with um, alcohol markers, wet media, distressing pencils, watercolour pencils, all sorts of media work really well in this book. And that is on the market at the moment for £13.23 on Amazon. So the majority of these things that I'm going to show you are from Amazon. That's just the easiest way for me to buy things and with next day delivery, how can you resist? <laughs> so this one isn't from Amazon, this one is from Etsy. This is Clara Markova, Furry, Furry Celebrations, and this is her fourth one, she's got a new one. And this is on the market for £25.76, but with postage to the UK, it ended up costing me £38.12 altogether. Now again, the paper in this is phenomenal. Very, very, very nice for colour pencil in this one. Uh, if you like your more your detailed pictures, your more, you know, furry, whimsical, you will adore this colouring book. It is very busy. That's one thing that I will say. There is, a, like this one for instance, this double page spread is very, very busy. And imagine that will take you hours and hours. So the way that I see it is, I know it's an expensive book and I know that the postage is expensive but you're going to get hours and hours and hours of colouring uh, fun out of these boots so I do, you know, I do think it is, it is worth it. Really, really gorgeous boots, super cute images. I do need to colour in these a little bit more. I think it's because uh, they are a little bit more expensive, I'm scared of destroying one of the pages. So that's the Etsy one. You can get some fabulous boots on Etsy. If you want a separate video of all my Etsy purchases, then let me know in the comments because I'll happily do that. So this is another Amazon order. Now this is the Pop Manga Colouring Book by Camilla de Erico. And this one is on Amazon at the moment for 9 99 Now there is another two boots available. A Mermaid's one and more of a halloween -y one, the Cute and Creeper. And the reason that I've chosen this one again is for variety. There is so much variety in this book. From cute little pages, you've got double page spreads, you've got portraits. There's some really unusual pictures in this one. The paper in this is very, very nice. The only thing that I would say is it takes quite a bit to uh, break the spine of the book in this one. But once you've, uh, no pun intended, cracked it, then it's fine. So as you can see, I've done a lot of uh, pages out of this one. Very beloved boot, this. So that is the Camilla de Erico. And just be, be aware, if you pop in on Amazon Pop Manga, you will come across a lot of fake books. Please don't buy fake books. doesn't support the artist. Uh, the next one we've got is uh, Kirby Rosanne's Mythomorphia, and I've got to say this is probably the most bargain of them all, let's say. This was £5. £5. I've even got a backup of this because it is my favourite of uh, Kirby's works. Now these are quite intricate, I am going to warn you. This was a very early one with my alcohol markers. But again, you've got a good wide range of pages in this one, from, you know, Halloween, like to dragons to horses, birds, insects, there is all sorts in this one. There's my werewolf, a whip that was probably from last November which I'm naughty for not finishing and I think my pegasus page in this one, yep, I love that one. My husband picked the colour scheme on that one. My uh, very early griffin that I followed his tutorial from Colour with Claire for the background but yeah I really thoroughly recommend this book, Hours and Hours of Fun, in this one. And there is so many of Kirby's books available. And the very last book that I want to share with you is my beloved Hannah Carlson. Now, I'll be honest, I can't remember whether, whether it was Summer Nights or it was The Magical Dawn that I bought for my first um, Hannah Carlson. But I recommend this one, and if I can find it and spirit animals these are the two that i recommend again the same reason a lot of variety in these coloring books we'll go through this one first i just love the way that uh, hannah does the lines in her book and her artwork 
it's just absolutely gorgeous i just love it definitely definitely one of my favorites and in spirit animals i've got it in the um in the other edition which is the soulmates which i finished all of the back reins in so i did get backup copper so i can redo one of the pages when i want to but uh, yeah, I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend these books, especially with them being hardbacks. I do uh, love a good hardback book. The very last set of uh, books or artists that I do want to talk about is Misfits. Now, the reason that I chose this is definitely, definitely not because of the paper. It is Amazon printed paper in these books. It's because the images are just so unique. You know, I've not seen anything else like these in any other books so there is uh, quite a few available of these i don't own all of them so we've got number nine which is the gothic fantasy number 10 the winter fantasy which is one of my favorites uh this one's just called a coloring book number three the nautical one number 11 the zombie one number two the furry one number 13 another furry one number four and the last one that I own is the Alien one, number eight. I'll have another flip through three of these. Like I said, they are, you know, Amazon printed paper. If you were that bothered, you could always scan them in and print them off on your own paper. Uh, I don't like Amazon printed paper, but I will colour in these books, you know. And they are super, super unique, these pages. Uh, the way that I find best to work in these boots is with basing the picture with alcohol markers and then going over the top with um, colour pencil. You can use water mediums but it will buckle your pages, you know, and make them warp a little bit. So that is a, a word of warning. But yeah, that is The Misfits by White Stag. So let's move on to pencils. I've got two, four, six different types of pencils that I do want to share. The first one is, as you can see, all my uh, art supplies are well loved, all dirty and stained, <laughs> probably from distress ink. Anyway, the first one is the Arteza pencils. There's reference all my prices. So we've got for the 48 pack, it's £20.98. For the 72 pack, it's £33.59. And for the full set of the 120, it is £49.98 so I did go ahead and purchase the full set of these colour pencils now for a budget friendly pencil these are very 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 nice as you can see I have, I have used them I do use my supplies even though I've got a lot I, uh, the best thing to do is sift through your supplies like bring your older stuff to the front and then use them and then switch it through and do it that way so yeah i would uh, thoroughly recommend these they are um i found they're a mixture between prismacolor and the polychromos which i haven't included in um in this uh, gift guide because there's another set of pencils that i wanted to share instead of them uh, but yeah they are a mixture between the two and they're very good for the price tag i think anyway how am I going to do this for staying organised? So the next set of pencils is the one up from the uh, teaser. We've got the Prismacolor. Now I have included this pencil case as well. This pencil case on Amazon at the moment is £12.99. So all the prices of these pencils that I'm going through now are what is available on Amazon today at the moment. Whether it be the next day delivery are three other sellers I've just managed to find a price on each of the pencils each of the sets so this is the 150 set of Prismacolor and these are probably my my go-to ones when I just wanna just wanna colour so they start off at, for a 24 set 25 pound and 51 pence and then for a 48 set you've got 61 pound and 14 pence for the 72 set that's going to be £74.99 and, pence. and for the full 150 set it's standing at the moment at £154.99 Now I do have a couple of backups here that my husband Camilla brought me back from America but like I said these are my go-to pencils 
I hope that you can tell by the size of some of them. I mean, I'm down to the nib on, which one's this one, my little cream one. It's teeny weeny, I'm having to put it in the pencil extender. And the amount of light peaches that I have gone through is not even funny. But these are so soft and creamy to work with, they're easy to blend. I would thoroughly recommend these for beginners. They are a little bit pricier than the Arteza, but in my opinion, definitely, definitely worth the price tag. I do keep them in this really snazzy pencil case. Now I do keep this pencil case open underneath my desk because I find it irritating uh, with the zip. That's the only thing. So the next set of pencils we'll look at is my, I'd say top of the range, the Cavendish Luminance pencils. Now, they do start off for the 20 set, £49.99. and pence. I know that they're super duper expensive. And then we've got the 40 set, which is £87.91. And, and then for the full 76 set, it's £192.73. And now, there is another 20 pencils added to this set. They were added a couple of months ago. Now, for them 20 pencils, I believe that I paid, it was around £65, £70. Can't find the email for the um, the price that I actually paid, so I won't be able to add that price. But I'm sure it's available somewhere online. They're not available on Amazon. I have checked that extra set, but that brings the total of pencils up to a hundred, I believe. Now the reason that these are super duper expensive, I've got spare pencils here in my door and to draw them ones. They're separate is because of the light fast rating. The light fast rating on these pencils is amazing compared to any other pencils. So if you're more serious about your colouring pages, you know, and you want them to last and you want them, you know, you want to show your grandkids, kids, they're going to last. The colour is going to be just as good as the day that you put them down on the page. Whereas if you probably use the Prismacolor or the Arteza, they're not going to last as long. So that's why the price tag is quite expensive with these pencils. And the only thing that I will say is I do find it quite hard to read the uh, the logos on the pencils. So I did go ahead and uh, charted them all up and put numbers on them myself. I mean the camera isn't going to even pick that up but I really really do struggle reading these pencils at the best of times. Now with the new set of 20 I did get a blender, a Caran Dash blender and this is possibly the best blender that I have found on the market. Now I have tried all sorts, there's this other Caran Dash blender that I don't really care for. The Derwent blender probably comes up a close second and then we've got the Derwent drawing pencil in Chinese white that I use as well. But this uh, blender pencil is a must and the only place that I find available that sells it singles and the price of that is £2.50 per blender is a store called paperstory.co.uk that's the only place that I've found at the moment that do sell them as single stock but yeah they're really creamy, really smooth they do make me super duper nervous to uh, use because of how expensive they are but it's silly because you know I've spent the money on them I should use them more so that is the luminance pop them down there safe and sane, I don't want to drop them I'm just adding these in as a bonus because again the the quite sought after pencils these are the Holbein pencils now I did order these off Amazon again UK and the 50 set of the pastel pencils is 138.99 and now thinking about it I didn't order these off Amazon I ordered these off Jackson Art I believe so these are all the pastel colours absolutely gorgeous super smooth to lay down gorgeous pencils but again, really, really high price tag on these ones. So the pastel set does stop, I believe, here. And then I went and purchased the set of 12. And then I've got a couple of open stock as well. A couple of backups for skin tones and stuff. 
but again these lay down super smooth they're just a luxurious colouring pencil so if you really really want to treat somebody and they've not got uh, any sort of pastel colours like this they will love you forever if they receive these they really are stunning gorgeous colours but that's just a little extra they were £138.99 for the 50 pastel set and that's on Jackson Arts I believe I mean between now uh, me editing the video and popping it up prices may change in Vera so the other two pencils that I wanted to share with you was the Derwin Ink Tents and these I think it's a set of 76 or 72 is it? 72 and these aren't, um, they're not watercolour pencils, they're ink based pencils. Now they do pack a punch, but once these babies have gone down the paper and dried, there is no way of moving them around like you can do with normal um, watercolour pencils. So with that being said, you have to be a little bit more careful with where you're placing these and where you're placing the water. But if you really want a pencil that packs a punch, then these are your best bet. I remember seeing these for the first time in an art store and I didn't see them swatched, I just saw them as it is and I thought well I didn't understand what the fuss was about. So I went ahead and purchased them off Amazon because at the time they were on a super good deal, I couldn't not. And then when I got them and I actually tested them out, I understood what the, you know, the mystery behind the uh, intent was. They are a really fabulous pencil, but again there's only certain certain colouring boots that I would use these pencils in oh and I didn't say the price so we've got for the six pack they do actually do a six pack and that's £8.99 and then we've got the 12 pack which is £18.50 we've got the 24 pack which is £40.47 and I don't know whether this is correct because it's underneath we've got the 30 pack which is £48.18 so I think the prices are really you know bumping up and down at the minute and then for the full set of the 72 it's £140.99 so that's that one so you might have guessed that I couldn't do a Christmas gift now without including my beloved Faber-Castell Albert Dura watercolour pencils these are really really gorgeous pencils so easy to work with easy to lay down once you add that water they're so easy to blend out now if you do own the polychromos pencils they're the exact same colors exact same names so if you wanted to use them side by side you know that would work fabulously together so we've got for the the Faber Castell Albert Jurors, we've got the 36 set which is £52.76. Again with this I was seeing a lot of fluctuation in price depending if you wanted it in a box or you know you just wanted the pencils. So I just tried to write down the best prices uh, just for the pencils not including the boxes. So for the 68 set you've got £99.80 and for the full 120 set it's £164.77. So again it is expensive, they are expensive for colouring pencils. I remember when I first started out I was thinking I could buy myself a pack for £20 and that I'd do mate. But believe me when I say when you start this hobby you want to try a different pencil, you want to try the next best thing, you want to try this, that and the other. And if you like bits media like me then you're dreadful for it. But yeah, these are really, really nice watercolour pencils. So other things that I class as essentials are your things for, you know, the final touches as well as sharpeners and I've got a heat gun on the list here as well. So the sharpener that I've got, I've got an electric sharpener but I also use my Helix crank as well and I use this mostly on the bigger pencils like the watercolour ones, the polychrome, most of the whole binds. Them pencils don't fit in the uh, electric one. So at the moment, this one is, if I can find it, £14.95. But I believe that this comes up on the Amazon deals, like the deal of the day, quite often. You can get hold of it for £10-11. And I really do recommend this. And it's got five different settings just on the back, depending on how sharp you want the pencil. I always have it on the sharpest setting. And it's, uh, you know, it's worked a treat with me. I've had it for months and months and months and not had a problem with this yet. 
The other thing that I'll mention is my lamp. I'll, I'll hopefully remember to do like a pan over of my lamp and it is a magnifying lamp. So when you get them um, more detailed pages, then this lamp is your best friend. Or you can use it for diamond painting as well, but it lights up your area beautifully. And this lamp at the moment is 26 99 so we've got a couple of gel pens now and a Posca pen. The Posca pen I use again for details, for highlights or if I want to white out uh, some liner that I don't like or don't want there. And the Posca pen at the moment is for a three pack it's $7.59. Now I do use a variety of different nibs with this so your best bet is to get one and see what you feel about it and if you don't like it you can try a bigger size or a smaller size. My Uniball Signal, which is a fantastic white gel pen for again adding highlights and details, and this is on Amazon for £2.89. And then my new favourite that I've used on, well, I try and use it nearly on all my colouring pages if I can, is the um, Sakura Jelly Roll Glaze in Black. Now, this is available on Amazon, it is a little bit pricey, this for one pen. It's £3.20, that's just for one pen, but I do believe if you buy more than one, I think it's in three, four pack, it does get cheaper the more that you buy. My little heat gun, which is hiding behind me, is just this little one that I got from Hobbycraft. And I think, again, at the time of me buying it, in store, it was about £9.99, so £10. But I have looked up one on Amazon and you can get you can get one that's very very similar to this one for £13.50. Now I use this because I'm impatient and I don't want to uh, wait, wait for my watercolour or inks to dry so I will use this in between, you know, like layers of watercolour paint. So let's talk about gel pens. So my very, very favourite, and I've still not found anything any better, is my Pentel Hybrid Duro Metallic uh, gel pens. Now these are on the market at the moment. I mean, I'm forever writing down things and I'm not finding what I want to find. Gel pens, here we go. So for a pack of, I think it was six I believe, it's £10.01. pence. But they're always on the Amazon daily deals. I mean, they're on at the moment for £8.50. I thoroughly recommend these gel pens. They are super gorgeous. Really, really shiny. And the other pack of gel pens that I do recommend, let's just put them there for now, is the Kulia gel pens. Now, these do come already in a pack. And these are on the market at the moment for £21.99. So they are more expensive than the Pentel ones but you get so many more colours. So it's not just the uh, metallics that you get in this, you're getting glitter gel pens as well. Now these lay down really, really smoothly and you can actually buy refills for these. So instead of buying these, which I do over and over again and wasting all that plastic, you can just buy the refills, which I think is absolutely perfect. Alcohol markers and water-based markers next. So the first one I'll show is the Tombow brush pens. Now, I think that's probably the best way I'm going to be able to actually show you these. Now, these are, are water brush pens. Now, you can get these in a variety of different sets. You don't have to just get the full set, but if you did want the full set, it's £179.52. But they do do a variety of different sets, like you can get the primary colour set, that's a pack of 18 for £34. 92 you can get the pastel shades which is a six pack for 13.99 candy colors pack of six 14 uh, 29 now there is like i said a variety of uh, different i was actually checking on amazon then there was that many different packs there's so many packs for you to choose from but if you like me i did go out and buy a single one of these so i did buy number 026 just to test it and just to test it on different papers and see how I liked it now if you like me and you've got the full collection syndrome once you've bought one thing you need the whole collection I just saved myself a lot of money and just bought the full set knowing that I would like them because I tested them out prior but they're very very good um, if you want to base a picture and it's a double sided uh, page and they're not going to bleed through although just be careful if you plan on doing watercolours 
do your watercolour first in your background because these will uh, streak over your page if you add any sort of water so just be aware but the colours in these are so gorgeous pastel shades that you you know I'm, I've yet to find in uh, any other pens so that's the Tombow's I'm literally sat here with colouring books and supplies all around me and I'm caged in <laughs> so we'll have a look at alcohol markers next the ones that I own are the Old Hoo Hoo brush markers. Now, I've got like 100 set here and I'm struggling to find these on Amazon at the moment. Uh, the price that I paid at the time of purchase which was a couple of months ago and I think they were on like a daily deal it was $84.99 which I think is a really good price for a brush marker. The tip is quite comparable to a Colpic. Uh, the ink is really nice, it's juicy pen, it's really vibrant. There is some nice uh, pastel shades in this, but again, you can't use alcohol markers on double sided pages, they will just bleed through. So, yeah, I'm struggling to find these on Amazon at the moment. I do apologise. If I find them at a later date, I will update the uh, description of the video. But they did a separate set of skin pens. Now there is a couple of duplicates, which I didn't mind because the duplicates are the ones that I always tend to reach for, like R20, R18 and R19, you know, so I don't mind. But you've got a good variety of skin tones here and a colourless blender, which is included in this set as well. Now for this skin set alone, it is £29.99, but if you're looking for something to just base skin tones, maybe the skin tones make you a little bit nervous, so you need a bit of colour down before you add a bit of shading, these are ideal as long as the single sided I mean if you're not bothered about the page behind then you know go ahead but I always use a protective sheet behind the uh, image that you're working on just to protect the one you know the page behind that as well so that is the Ohuhu markers uh, it would have been my channel if I didn't add any sort of watercolour my beloved Windsor & Newton palette you can see by this how loved it is because it's an absolute mess there's just paint everywhere but yeah definitely well loved now at the time of me purchasing this I did actually buy it from an art store so it wasn't from Amazon but I think for this set at the time of me purchasing it it was about £35 and I'm just seeing if I checked I don't think I managed to find this set on Amazon I'm just double 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 checking um, yeah, I didn't manage to find a price for these ones, but they are available in smaller and bigger sets. So this is just a basic watercolour palette and you can, you know, mix any sort of colours with this selection of colours. I really do recommend these, are really nice. So if you're looking for more metallic watercolours, we've got two different ones here. We've got the Paul Rubens and this is a 50 set of metallic watercolours. And they come in their own little bed with their own little blanket and I am yet to use that uh, cloth for anything other than wrapping these up and putting them back to bed <laughs> but they come in this gorgeous pink palette I mean how can you not resist I don't even use this palette for mixing the colours I just go straight into the pan because I don't want it messy because it's just too beautiful but I paid 99, uh, 99 £49, sorry, £49 and 99 pence last year, so it was last November I got these for my birthday and they are really, really stunning watercolours. If I just get the swatch card, that would be better, just to show you how beautiful these are, if I can get them to catch the light, there we go. So a really, really nice selection of colours in this one. They don't take uh, long to activate, a quick spritz of water. And Bob's uncle. The next watercolours that I want to show, well the next and the last, so we, oh should we class the neon colours? The neon colours are watercolours aren't they? So we've got the KJ Designs by Karen and it's uh, all of them that are clear, the ones that are white is a different uh, company but again these ones that are at the top that are swatched out really are fabulous quality watercolours now these are expensive they didn't come in this palette this is a separate palette that I purchased um, but then paints on their own are £6 but I do believe she does different uh, little sets but uh, if you just want to pick your own out she's got so many colours to choose from 
and one thing that I did forget to mention, I haven't looked up the prices, but I think for the, is it the 20 set? I think it's for the 20 set, it's a rain 30 pound, I could be wrong there, but Neo Colour 2s, now these work very, very similar to your watercolour pencil, uh, watercolour pencils and watercolour paint. Now you can colour straight down on the page with these and activate them with wa uh, water, just water, with a brush and they are very vibrant, you know, they pack a punch. Very good for your big, bigger pages uh, if you want to do bigger backgrounds with them. And I think one of the last things that I want to share, if I just get them all out instead of uh, being messy, is my Distress Inks. Now these do, do, do come in a bigger range, um, like a bigger size sponge than this, is that, is that the word? So they come in a lot bigger but I've just got the minis because I basically just use these for backgrounds. It's going to be difficult for me to show you the range of colours. I'll have to turn a couple around but I like to keep them stored upside down. I don't know if that's a myth sort of thing but I like to keep them stored upside down so the ink stays to the tip of the sponge. If I just open one of them up you'll see what I mean. So if I store them upside down the ink should go to the top. But I use these a lot for all of my backgrounds and the effects that you can get with these for such little effort is is amazing. That's why I use them so much. And here is another light peach Prismacolor that I, I'm not tricking away. <laughs> I'm sure I can get one or two uses more out of that. But with these, you, it is recommended that you use these sponges. And I don't like these. I've not liked these from day one. Now if I can find... Here we go. See, I wasn't as organised as I thought. Now, I use these little makeup brush uh, applicators. So, let's take the lid off. So, I would rub it on and then rub it onto the page, but start on the outside and bring it in. And it just blends the colour beautifully on the page. And add a bit of water to that. Oof, brilliant background. Brilliant background. If you've watched any of my finished pages, you'll see what I mean. That's probably everything. I'm going to tidy this up, double check my list, and I'll be back. I thought there was something else that I was missing. So, more embellishments on the page. This is the last thing, I promise. So, we've got the glossy accents. This is going around YouTube. It's been going around YouTube for quite a few months now, but this is excellent for adding a bit of a 3D texture onto your page, adding it to eyes, to jewellery, crystals, that sort of thing. And I just keep a pin in the top just to keep the lid open, otherwise, it does. Uh, dry and it's, it makes it quite difficult to get the product out. Now everything that's in here more or less is uh, stickles which is basically just uh, glitter glue but once dry they add a gorgeous shine to the page and I just keep them displayed on my cabinet in this uh, what do you call it a holder <laughs> and again I bought this off Amazon I think the holder was about £10 but the glossy accents on the hobby craft website and you can get it on Amazon again is £5 and then each of these stickles ranges from £1.90 all the way up to £4.10 it depends which colour you're after, where you're buying it from, the seller etc etc so it, I know it was a lot, it was a lot to take in that uh, for one video but I hope it does give you some ideas you know if there's someone in your life that's just started doing art or colouring there's so much out there you won't you know that you won't know what to buy or what someone would, would like so i hope this video was somewhat informative and now we can start looking forward to christmas <laughs> so i hope you have a lovely week everyone and i will see you in the next one bye